Hello dear students welcome to online certificate course in leadership development program myself professor mishranka sumitra assistant professor in department of english jat arts and science commerce college for women maligaon dear students many times you might have heard the words positive attitude many times you might have heard people saying to you you should have positive attitude you should have positive attitude have you ever wondered what this positive attitude mean why you should have positive attitude in your life so in this video i am going to tell you what is positive attitude and why positive attitude is important in our life when people say to you that <clears throat> you should dump your negative thoughts you should dump your negative attitude and you should adopt positive attitude what do they mean they mean that you should have courage you should be positive you should have faith in yourself you should have confidence positive attitude is essential in life it is essential for our happiness it is essential for the joy in our life it is essential for progress in life and it is a state of mind which brings happiness in our life <clears throat> now if you have positive attitude in your life it doesn't mean that everything will be okay for you or there will be no difficulties or no worries in your life no but if you have positive attitude <clears throat> you will be able to face any situation it means may be possible that you may have any setback in your life you may have any problem in your life you will face it confidently you will have that much confidence that much courage to face it now <clears throat> there are two types of attitude positive attitude and negative attitude a person who has positive attitude always sees good things in situations good things in people good things in events on the contrary the people who have negative attitude always see bad things negative things they see bad in other people they see bad in other situations or negative in other situations they see negative in events so such type of people are called as having people having negative attitude <clears throat> now if a person has positive attitude in his life he can face any situation and in this world everyone has some difficulties some worries in life no one is free from it and we cannot get rid of it but how do we react to these situations is important in other words we can say that itni thokre dene ke liye shukriya hai zindagi itni thokre dene ke liye shukriya hai zindagi chalne ka na sahi samajhne ka to hunar aa gaya the people who have positive attitude will always say thank you to their life or we can say that shikwe to sabhi ko hai zindagi se sahab shikwe to sabhi ko zindagi se hai sahab par sab sahi kar jeen jeena jo jante hai wo shikayat nahi karte those people who accept those worries 
to accept those difficulties those problems in life they never complain let me tell you one story there was a rich man though he was rich he was always unhappy he used to pray to god every day and he repeated his prayer again and again he said to god god please do me one favor god please do me one favor and he said that i asked you one thing every day in my life that make my life happy why did you make me such unhappy man why there are so problems in my life and he prayed to god that exchange my difficulties with someone else exchange my troubles with someone else and he said i don't ask for any bliss i don't ask for any blessing but exchange my difficulties and my worries and my troubles with someone else his prayer was not heard but one day what happened he saw a dream and in his dream he saw god then he heard one heavenly voice and the voice said gather all your miseries into bags and bring them to happy hall now <clears throat> as there was such heavenly order heavenly command all people gathered their miseries into bags and they started bringing them to happy hall this rich man said to himself oh finally god heard my prayer and then he said that something will happen something great will happen and then he rushed to his bundle his bundle of miseries and he started going towards happy hall on his way he saw so many people carrying their bags but he was surprised he was shocked because they were carrying bags bigger than his bag means their load was much heavier than his load and furthermore he noticed that they were the people whom he always met with smiling face he always saw them with smiling face and beautiful clothes he always saw them with cheerful mood and he was shocked he was surprised he had seen them saying nice things to each other he never saw them complaining to anyone they were always having smiling faces and <clears throat> they too were carrying bags now he started becoming a little hesitant whether to go to the happy hall or not but finally he decided let's see and then he started going to the hall they all entered the hall and they heard the voice saying put your bags around the wall everyone obeyed that command everyone kept that bag in the hall and now after some time again they heard the same voice and that voice said now you can choose any bundle that you like now miracles happened yes dear students there was a miracle because everybody rushed to his own bags everybody the man the rich man also rushed to his own bag because 
he was afraid that if somebody else would choose it he would be at a great loss yes he was aware of it and therefore he rushed to his own bag everybody had chosen their own bags with great relief and they were all happy they were carrying their bags to their homes and even the rich man who prayed every day to god to exchange his worries and troubles and problems with someone else was carrying his bags he was carrying his bag on his back and he started going towards his home <clears throat> so he did not exchange his bag with anyone because he said to himself who knows what is in others bag no one knows no one knows what is in others bag because we all are aware of our own problems our own worries our own difficulties and we are accustomed of it and we have started adjusting with our difficulties so it would be difficult for us to adjust with the difficulties of others with the problems of others we ourselves can understand our problems and our difficulties so dear students we have to find solutions for our own problems we have to accept we have to accept our situations whatever it may be so we have to accept it <clears throat> so here we can say that that positive attitude is necessary in our life we should have positive attitude now first we'll focus on this concept positive attitude positive attitude or positive mental attitude this term was first introduced by napoleon hill in 1937 and he used this term in his book think and rich grow in that book he has focused on positive attitude and he said that positive attitude brings change in life and it increases achievements now <clears throat> having positive attitude is one of the most important powerful leadership skills dear students you all have enrolled for leadership development program and you should have positive attitude because it is most important powerful skill and i'm sure after watching this video you will have positive attitude and it will make huge difference in the quality of your life now first we'll focus what is an attitude <laughs> attitude is an outward expression this outward expression may be through body gestures or maybe through our actions so positive attitude is a state of our mind it is mirror to our mind it reflects our thinking now dear students here you can watch this image and here you will find that it is something which is related to our mind now here you can see these two ladies positive attitude and negative attitude so this lady with positive attitude is having beautiful smile on her face and on the contrary 
this lady who is having negative attitude is pointing towards her, herself and see her facial expressions she is not in happy mood she is complaining about something now we'll see some quotes on positive attitude a positive attitude is like a magnet for positive results our life is reflection of our attitudes positive attitude creates a chain a reaction of positive thoughts attitude but not aptitude determines your attitude no man fails if he does his best so if you have positive attitude in your life there is no chance of failure may be possible you may have to face failure but you will accept it and again you will go ahead again you will face the same situation and you will have victory the most significant change in person's life is a change of attitude right attitude produces right actions a positive attitude is not a destination but it is a way of life yes dear students positive attitude is a way of life it is like a magnet for good results for better results for positive results our life is a reflection of our attitudes now here in these two images you can see i can't do it and impossible now if you remove t of this i can't do it it becomes i can do it and if you remove im of possible it becomes possible i am possible yes nothing is difficult for me everything is possible for me i am possible i can do it now here the iceberg here now dear students this is the image of an iceberg now this iceberg is visible to our eyes but how much it is visible just only 10% 90% is invisible because it is below sea level yes 90% is below sea level so it is invisible so only 10% of the iceberg is visible the remaining 90% is below sea level okay now <clears throat> this iceberg phenomena is applicable to human beings also now in case of human beings what is visible to others our knowledge our skills people can taste our knowledge people can see that so they can so make a remark they can make a comment yes she is talented yes she is scholar or she is dull she is lazy means our knowledge and skills is visible but what about our attitude our attitude is invisible for others it is unknown to others so people can see only our knowledge and our skills but they cannot see our attitude so they can see our actions our behavior but what about our values our judgments our standards our motives our ethics our beliefs no no one understands it no one knows it now whatever uh, motives or ethics i have in my mind no one knows what are my values what are my <clears throat> beliefs no one knows but just only i know it so our life is unknown to others so our values our standards or judgments or motives or ethics and our beliefs 
are below sea level and only our behavior is above sea level which is visible to others now how to stay positive in tough environment there are so many bullets in our life sometimes other people's behavior or negative work environment or negative world view or changing environment or past experiences or determinism theory so there are such bullets in our life every day we are to face these bullets but we have to face them other people's behavior let me focus on this other people's behavior there are bulldozers patronizers complainers whiners maybe so many gossips against us people talk so many negative things about us they complain about us they are uh, backstabbers so many times we experience this backstabbers backstabbing they are snipers they clans there were there are people walking wounded there are controllers of our life then there are brown noses brown noses are most seen in our society and <clears throat> there are sluffers also or exploders also so such type of people we have to face every day and they are just like bullets but here we have to change our behavior we have to accept it we have to accept that there are such people in this society in this life but we cannot change them we have to change ourselves we have to change the way we think and many times it become difficult because it causes some stress when we cannot change the situation we should always remember that we have to change ourselves we cannot change the environment but we have to change ourselves the first the only person who always likes change is a very big so dear students we have to accept this change and we have to accept that we cannot change the situation but we have to change ourselves now they when we recall to our mind there are so many past experiences in our life and these past experiences can create negative things in our mind but we should forget it because we have to choose right life there are dodge bullets or we have to either accept that we have to be bullet proof person we know that for bullets there are bullet proof jackets so we have to accept that bullet proof jacket so we should wear that bullet proof bullet proof armor <coughs> now this bullet proof armor comes from self change we have to put on this armor three how we have to change in three things first we have to change our attitude we have to change our behavior and we have to change our thinking if we wear this bullet proof bullet proof armor we can face any situation in our life how can we change our attitude here we know that changes happen personally from the inside out means if we want some change in life we must change inside out then and then we can change our attitude and the first step that we can take that is we have to accept responsibility 
we should say yes i am responsible i am responsible for who i am for what i have for what i do so accept that responsibility take control of every situation take control of your values your discipline your mission your ownership you have to change your thinking also now here you have to observe your thinking now you should say what can i do to defeat this i refuse to let this go this is very interesting tomorrow it look very different i'd like to be the success to be him so yeah you have to change your attitude you have to change your thinking now you have to manage your self talk if you think you can or you think you can you are right yes henry ford said if you think you can or if you think you can't you are right in every situation you are right you accept it now <clears throat> there are two types of people people having positive attitude and people having negative attitude a person having positive attitude when wakes up in the morning says yes this day will be bright day this morning is fine sunny morning on the contrary a person who is having negative attitude will say oh this day will be gloomy one this day will be boring so here no one can change his thing he has to change himself he has to change his attitude <clears throat> he has to change his behavior. now changes take two assessment determination and discipline so person has to change his behavior now that uh, when one has to choose behavior that is reactive or responsible because we know there is this stimulus and response theory so if there is some stimulus a person has his choice and for his choice he has his own own responses is how he accepts it now there are few steps towards change <clears throat> now here yeah, the person can have that confidence in his life and that person can say that oh now you are a winner you are someone new person So what you have to do to influence your own environment you have to add positive behavior so what one can do for it spread a smile around that you can do sprinkle some positive on the negative focus on good every day every day there are so many things <coughs> so many good things happen in our life focus on them you just make a list every day and <clears throat> before going to bed you just make list of good things and bad things you start writing good things in one column and writing bad things in another column and you will find that there are so many good things that happened in your life that day so dear students start making list of good things in your life many times i tell you during lecture before going to bed <clears throat> take selfie now what is this selfie i'm not talking about that selfie that you capture from your mobile cameras no take selfie of your own mind yes before going to bed 
always say to yourself always recall your mind what happened today in my life did i say anything bad to anyone have i done something good for anyone anything any positive thing happened in my life any negative thing happened in my life have i scolded someone have i used abusive word for anyone take self your self your your mind make list of it make list of good things in your life count your blessings and you will find that you are blessed with many good things many good things happen to you today so <clears throat> never complain focus on the good of each day stay out of the feeding frenzy there are such feeding frenzies around us so don't bother about it always say please and thank you dear students these two words are keys for every good relationship these two words should be at the tip of your tongue always say please to others this <clears throat> if you want to get something done by others say please could you do it for me and surely that person would respond yes certainly why not and if someone has done any favor on you don't forget to say thank you be grateful to others practice empathy and evaluate your behavior. every day evaluate your behavior evaluate yourself be your judge be your teacher assess your actions evaluate your actions and you will find that you can bring change in your life never miss an opportunity to complete this is something uh, difficult for many people facing others paying compliment to others oh it's difficult but your students never miss an opportunity to offer compliments to others praise others <clears throat> before you say anything to anyone ask three questions to yourself is it true is it harmful is it necessary and these three questions are important if you are telling to someone something you must try to find whatever you are saying is it true or not don't spread rumors ask this thing to yourself is it true the second thing is it harmful don't spread such things which are harmful for others yes dear students it is necessary to focus on it third question that you should ask to yourself is it necessary whatever you are saying to others is it necessary for that person or something i am telling to that person that is trivial trifle if it is so don't tell it then always keep promises have a forgiving view of people forgive others keep an open mind with changes count 1000 if necessary <clears throat> if you are angry start counting 1 to 1000 or you can say that 1 to 100 that is enough start counting then 
see criticism criticism as a opportunity to improve when people criticize you accept it as a opportunity when they find faults in you accept them and change yourself because it is for your improvement so accept that criticism and improve yourself and cultivate your sense of humor so <coughs> be a contributor and always try to make this world happy now finally the choice is yours with bad attitude you can never have a positive positive attitude you can never have bad thing so finally the choice is yours you have to decide whether you want to make your day positive or whether you want to make your day negative so choose positive thinking change your attitude your behavior and your thinking now what makes your life 100% Now these are the letters of alphabet from A to Z and they have value equals to their sequence okay this a has a value of 1 b has 2 c is 3 d is 4 e is 5 so z the value of z is 26 now skills s k i l l s So nineteen plus eleven plus nine plus twelve plus twelve plus nineteen it becomes eighteen. Knowledge. So K N O W L E D G E it becomes ninety six. Hard work has a value ninety eight. But attitude has value. That is hundred. So, what makes your life hundred percent? Your attitude. Your attitude makes your life hundred <clears throat> percent. So, again, choice is yours. You can have can do attitude. You can you can say you can do everything, but not at all once. You can do everything. It is important enough for you to do. You can do everything, but you may not be the best at everything. You can do everything, but there will be limitations. You can do everything, but you will need some help. So, dear students, you have to focus on it. So, there are some quotes on positive attitude. A positive thought is the seed of positive result. If you don't like something, change it. If you can't change it, change your attitude. Don't complain. The most significant change in person's life is a change of attitude. Because right attitude produces right actions. If you really want to be happy, nobody can stop you. If you want to be happy, nobody can stop you except God. Except God, no one can stop you from being happy. So, always be happy. Always keep positive attitude. Now we all know the story of that glass which is half filled. Now whether that glass is half filled or half empty depends on attitude. A person having positive attitude says the glass is half filled. But a person having negative attitude says the glass is half empty. There is better way for everything. So find it. 
positive attitude is not destination but it is way of life and the difference between a successful person and others is not lack of knowledge but lack of will so positive thinker sees the invisible feels intangible and achieves the impossible a person having positive attitude achieves impossible the man with confidence in himself gains the confidence of others will only go as far as you can can go the biggest mistake of all is to avoid situation in which you might make a mistake so these are some quotes on positive attitude so <clears throat> Finally, we will see what is positive attitude. It is a state of mind which is constructive in nature. It brings optimism in your life. It makes easier for you to avoid worry and negative things. It helps you to see the right side of life. It provides you motivation to accomplish your goals. it inspires to believe in yourself and believe in your abilities so last we'll focus on what are its benefits what are the benefits of positive attitude positive attitude makes you a solution oriented person helps you to see opportunities brings more energy in your life greater inner power and strength you get greater growth in your power and strength it enables you to surmount any difficulty in life it inspires to motivate yourself and others creates respect for you among people so these are benefits and how can you develop that positive attitude that first you decide yourself that you want to develop your positive attitude always use positive words allow into your awareness only feelings that of happiness strength and success visualize clearly in your mind that you are possessing positive attitude associate yourself with people who think positively it is important because the company of such people will always keep you positive engage in some regular physical exercise and you can develop that positive attitude in your life read at least one page of inspiring book every day watch inspiring movies that make you feel happy and good always sit and walk with your back straight this will strengthen your confidence and your inner strength the posture is important in students disregard and ignore negative thoughts substitute negative thoughts with constructive happy thoughts try develop positive attitude learn to master your thoughts contempt on the futility of negative thinking and worries have faith in yourself and the power of the universe so can have happiness in life happiness means peace and good emotions positive vibe so it will bring positive attitude in your life happiness is very important a feeling of happiness is fundamental to human experience so happiness in the workplace is important and you can have that happiness in work plus 
so uh, as a student now <coughs> you are attending this course in future you will go for some job so this positive attitude is important for you right now as well as for your future life also because <coughs> your positive in uh, at your workplace it is influenced by short lived events means staffing really workload or uh, some uh, work pressure okay <coughs> so recognize your positive and negative behavior so uh, take example of your job this what do you see where you work positive or negative so <coughs> that work environment is important so let's see how you did if there is positive work environment employees who have positive attitude who have passion for job commitment to the organization motivation and optimism always they do good for their company for their institutes so that is important in our life now in negative work environment employees who are dissatisfied unorganized angry they lack motivation they are not team player they are unproductive they are bored they are mean they never do good for their company or for their institution so <clears throat> you have to decide who you are so ask this question to yourself am i a person having positive attitude or negative attitude i am doing good for my company or for my institution or am i doing bad for it now you have to always focus yourself on some positive stories so always focus on these uh, positive stories and focus on positive work now accept every situation in life because accepting change and learning from mistakes help you to see the possibility of new or better opportunities so accept it what are the changes accept it because everything changes in nature now choose to be happy start your day on positive note focus on good embrace life challenges surround yourself with positive people choose to be happy be gracious helpful and kind to others take care of yourself and have fun in life that is important so if you will follow these things in your life surely you will be happy in your life so always have positive attitude in your life and you will achieve many great things in your life all the best thank you